For ICU nurse Janae Decker, life was throwing one curveball after another. And I lost my dad um, to cancer, and then I lost my best friend to cancer, and then COVID happened. Her colleague Ashley Pope was also struggling. It's a lot of stress. We didn't have, we didn't know what was happening from day to day all the time. Um, policies and procedures always changing. Um, the amount of patients fluctuating. So they both decided to do something about it. And I always try to get the girls to come do stretches with me or just like simple poses. Pope did so by incorporating yoga into the workplace. She takes fellow colleagues to the hospital's safe haven, dubbed the Zen Den. I'm always trying to take somebody down there with me to do something so they can relax a little bit. And Decker decided to learn about life coaching. And I kind of want to turn my mess into my message. I have my own struggles that I deal with and um, I think it's important to bring awareness to just the everyday challenges that we all go through and knowing that we're not alone. Both say practicing mindfulness has enabled them to be better nurses. It's figuring out how to actually have a relationship with your with your inner being. There's a part of you that knows what's best for you. If you aren't in control of your day-to-day -day self, you can't do anything for anybody else. Learning to prioritize themselves the way they prioritize their patients. Reporting in Council Bluffs, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.